What I'd now like to do is create a presentation based on one of the new templates that come with 2010. I'm going to click on the File tab in the ribbon and I'll click on New. I'll double click Sample Templates and choose one of the templates that come with PowerPoint 2010, the Contemporary Photo Album. I'll double click that option. This gives me a presentation to which I can play with without having to go through the effort of creating one. One of the things that's really different with 2010 is the print preview. To print preview, we could either use the button on our quick access tool bar called print preview and print, or we could go to file in the ribbon and choose print. And this is your print preview. Basically in the bottom right hand corner, you have the ability to zoom in and the ability to zoom out. You also have a button in the far right, which will zoom to the page if you want to return to the original size. You also have a triangle which allows you to move to the next page and the next page and the next page and back again. If you wish to change any of the print settings, you can choose from these various drop downs. For instance, at the moment I'm printing a full page slide, but I could hit the drop down and say no, I actually want to print two slides per page. Or I want to print four slides per page. I can also change it from a portrait orientation to a landscape orientation. I could also change it from the grayscale to color, if I had a color printer, which you can see clearly I don't. So I'll put it to either pure black and white or put it to grayscale. Ultimately, when I want to print, I'll hit the print button and say how many copies and what printer I want to print to. Now, other useful features under File include Save and Send. If I click Save and Send, I can easily email this PowerPoint file as an email as an attachment to an email. Or I can email this PowerPoint file as a PDF that is attached to a new mail message. So those are quite handy features as well. And lastly, Info on the left hand side allows me to protect my presentation. What I can do here is I can encrypt the presentation with a password if I don't want people to be able to open it or change it without my without knowing the password. Ultimately, to get out of file, click the Home tab on the ribbon to get out of the File tab. 